Hey everybody and welcome back to Lindsay's Little Library. It is Booklist Thursday. Booklist Thursday is something I do with my friend Sarah from Sarah's Nightstand. We come to you every Thursday with some sort of book topic, book thoughts, book recommendations, something bookish related. Today's topic is books set in the winter because how appropriate, right? It is so depth of winter here. I live in Wisconsin. Sarah's down in the uh, sunshine state, so she may not experience the winters that I do, but it is appropriately snowing right now, which that's just crazy. Um, we're going to get about five inches today. It's freezing. It's dead of winter, and I can totally be a seasonal type reader. Um, if I'm on a beach, I'd love to read a book set somewhere on a beach. Winter, I definitely get into winter vibes. Spring and fall, maybe not so much, but yeah, I can totally be a seasonal reader. So we're going to get through this quick because my camera or my battery is totally going to die. Fingers crossed I can record this before it does. But I have two, four, six. Wow, I'm breaking the rules again. I got six books today. Typically we stick around five, but I don't care. We're going to go with it. One of them is... You'll see. Okay. Um, number one... I don't know. Skipping Christmas by John Grisham. Totally... I love this book. I've read this book probably three times. I used to try to read it every Christmas. I mean, it's super short. It's super easy. But then they came out with the movie. So then I just watched Christmas with the Cranks. But definitely will get you in a Christmas me mood, but also set in winter because it takes place, I believe, in Chicago. Um, which question, why do like most Christmas movies all take place in Chicago? I noticed that we watched Christmas Chronicles this year and that happens in Chicago. Home Alone's in Chicago. What's up with Chicago? But um, this follows the Cranks. They decide that they are going to skip Christmas for a year because their only daughter is going to be gone, I think, on a mission trip. Um, so they're not going to do anything. They're giving up on all traditions. And, I mean, I'm sure you've seen the movie. You know what happens. But it's a really awesome, sweet, fast book, but set in the winter. Um, I did struggle with... I had a ton of books I could have brought, but a lot of them were set during World War II. So I'm like, okay, well, we can't continue to... to be that one genre that subject so I kind of picked my favorite from those so we have Rudis the Putties Salt to the Sea this also takes place in the winter during World War II this follows the sinking of the Wilhelm Gustav um, her other book Between Shades of Grey also set during the winter also World War II historical fiction um, you these books are done so well you can just feel the cold you can just feel the cold as they are trudging through the country in the dead of winter like I just can't fathom having to do that it's crazy and they're kids some of them are kids it's awesome but it's a really really great book um I love how she follows I think there's four or five different characters she follows throughout the book so you really get a good sense of the entire story from different perspectives it's fabulous highly suggest it my other um world for two historical fiction book that I guess still has a sticker on I can't believe I didn't pull it off oh well it's gonna be a tough one um, but this one is Winter Garden by Kristen Hanna. Um, this follows a woman who, her husband just passed away and she has a very interesting relationship with her daughters and their father, her husband basically convinces the daughters, you have to get to learn your mother's story. You need, you will understand her better if you know her story. So it goes through what she survived. Um, what is her name? Anya, um, what she survived during Russia during World War II and again in the winter. It's even got in the title. One of my favorite Kristen Hanna books for sure. It It's such an amazing story and there's there's twists involved. There's oh my gosh it's crazy. It's great. It's, it's not crazy. It's beautiful. It's wonderful. It's a great story. Awesome historical fiction. Definitely pick that up but you get the Russian perspective in that story during World War II. Then we have As Bright as Heaven by Susan Meisner, also taking place during the winter. Some parts of it are taking place during the winter. Um, this happens during World War One, but we stay stateside and we are dealing with the Spanish flu, which is this huge epidemic that swept the entire world during this whole World War was happening, um, killing more people than I believe the both world worlds combined. It was insane. Um, so a different perspective, same-ish time period, um, but dealing with some different problems. And I love how Susan takes you beyond the actual event. So yes, 
you follow this family and what happens during the outbreak of the Spanish flu, but then you get the aftermath and kind of what happens later. So wonderful book. Susan Meisner um, is quickly becoming one of my favorite, favorite authors, so love her. I'm trying to catch up on more of her books. I have a few that I haven't read yet. Um, then we have another Kristen Hanna book, um, but this takes place in Alaska during the winter, which let's just say Alaskan winters are like no other. So we are in the 1970s. We are following a family of three who have moved to Alaska. The father has returned from Vietnam, has some uh, PTSD that he's dealing with. He thinks moving to Alaska and being off the grid is the way to solve that. And then winter hits and things happen. Again, um, brutal, brutal winter scenes in here for sure, um, but it's also Alaska, which is also, I think, one of the most beautiful places. I've never been there, it's on my bucket list, but here we go, another winter book. And then my last one, we're going to take some creative privileges with this, and we're going to say Winter by Marissa Meyer. Um, so this is, I think, the last book in the Lunar Chronicles, um, and the Lunar Chronicles kind of take fairy tales and do a little twist. So it starts with Cinder, who's kind of based on Cinderella, but she's a cyborg. Um, so definitely a fantasy series. Winter is kind of based around Snow White, um, but this takes place on the moon, which is a very cold climate, which could be winter-ish, but it follows a character named Winter. Um, I truly enjoy this series. I, I think I have one that I haven't read, which is Stars Above, which is like the last little novella, but I've read every single one of the books. Um, it was just one of those it's a great fantasy series to get in if you're new to fantasy because it, the world building and the characters aren't super out there. You can still kind of follow along. You kind of know the characters because they're based upon fairy tales. So you have Cinderella, Red Riding Hood, Rapunzel, and Snow White is kind of who they're based on. Um, so if you're new to a fantasy genre and looking for a series, definitely pick up The Lunar Chronicles. I would highly suggest them. Um, I truly enjoyed them. These are books I'm keeping because I want my kids to read them because they're just, they're, they're fun adventures. So there are my books set in winter. Um, I had definitely had some fun with this. I was surprised at how many books I had that were really set during the winter. So that was, that was exciting. If you have any books that are set during winter that you would recommend, leave in the comments below. Definitely head over to Sarah's channel, check out what she has for today. I don't even know what to expect or what she'll have on here. I'm excited to see it. Otherwise, like and subscribe and we'll see you next time.